Guys, welcome to MLG Saturday Night. Chris Puckett and Shockwave. Shockwave, you and I get the second match of the night here. We have Status Quo facing off against Believe the Hype, and both of these teams have played incredible through pool play. Absolutely. They both went 4-0 in their pools, respectively. Status Quo in Pool B, Believe the Hype in Pool C. And although we just watched an amazing match, Instinct versus Dynasty, I'm a little bit more interested in this match tonight. Yeah? Why's that? I think these two teams are a little bit evenly matched. I bet a lot of people wanted to think and thought Instinct was going to win the last one. No one's really sure who's going to come out on top here in, the, in this, uh, this, was, uh, this match. Absolutely. If you're unfamiliar with status quo, now's your time to meet them. Let's take a look at our red team. You can't bet against them. I think this team's going to get into the red and they're not going to look back. Does have the DMR to clean up the kill. Now a double with that second rocket on Pete Tizak. Going for number 28. There's the triple for a naval. He is catching fire. I would actually emphasize communication to be the most important factor going into this game. Great start. think it's possible at this point in time. Well, Whoa! Don't say so too soon. Flames right. that does have a quality. Oh, super. bam! All right. And if they play this super slow, oh, oh. But if they play this super slow, they're going to have a much better chance. Well, they only had to beat one player. The flag is down, though. Oh. We got another. There it is. Kill. is. I was actually, you guys saw me in the crowd with Carmen. Oh, so wow. Incredible play by Ace. So there you see our Dallas champions. They got second at our last event in Anaheim. And Abel, you better stop yawning, son. It's time to game. Chris, this team looks so good back in Anaheim. They fell just short against Instinct. But up until that point, they were definitely the second best team in the venue. They've been playing fantastic, though, for the last two days. I got a chance to talk to Enable. He told me that their teamwork is stronger than it's ever been, especially coming to this tournament. And a fun fact, this is the only tournament where they've been able to sweep their pool play, even though they've had some amazing placings in the past. Yeah, they always seem to, like, tie and win by some kind of tiebreaker to get to the winner's semis, but not this time around. They were not messing around. Every single series they took it their to their opponent, and especially that infamous one, they just absolutely crushed. Their teamwork, we saw it on display, but we also saw a display of some crazy individual talent. We saw Enable going huge. And I just don't want to talk about Enable. There's a few other members on that team that have also played amazing. Absolutely. Right now, we got to go down to the guy status quo requested we interview. Right now, Gandhi is on the floor next to Assault. Gandhi, why Assault again? Well, solely based off a of superstition here, Chris, Ace refused my request to interview him, but I'm here with Assault. Assault, looking good so far, man. How'd you prepare for this event? Uh, you know, we uh, practice a lot online, and I feel we're the most practiced for like any event this season so far. Awesome, now you've yet to play against Believe the Hype and you don't know what to expect. If you had to guess, what are they gonna come out with? Is Formal gonna destroy you guys or are you guys gonna shut them down? Oh, they're, they're very good. They have a lot of individual talent. I know Formal can snipe pretty well. I mean, all of them can snipe pretty well. So we gotta basically control the power weapons and it should go our way. Awesome. Now, there's a lot of Status Quo fans out here, I think. Status Quo fans, make some noise. Awesome. What do you got to say to them? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's Quo. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Scott. So, Assault and Friends are ready to game, and that was evil that they dominated earlier on the main stage. Excuse me, not infamous. That was Believe the Hype. But speaking of Believe the Hype, Status Quo is going to have their hands full with this lineup. Chris, Maniac and Formal dominated under BTH last event. This event they pick up Destin and Reliable, and man, this squad looks extremely strong. I doubted them a little bit coming into this event. I thought Final Boss was the strongest team in Pool C, but man, I was wrong. BTH has looked so strong. They've picked up what I think to be a very, very strong Destin. He seems extremely practiced, and we talked about it. Maybe the next Enable Reliable, the fourth member of that team, they've been playing lights out so far this tournament. If you don't know who our blue team is, you're about to find out. Let's check out Believe the Hype. Believe the Hype, your 2009 national champions. He's been getting into a fight and 
great headshot right there by Maniac. Killing Spree's escape. And APG is right. Oh my! It's the headshot through his demon! Hey, what's up, demon? Maniac, I should pick him up a flag here. Great play. I think the League of needs to be a little bit more aware of letting Cure spawn before trying to move in and pick him. Like you were saying, we've seen the rest of the team. Oh! See? behind certain players on the team. He's picked up now oh. three kills in a row. We got Nesta's on our screen. There we go. We'll get that hunts up for you. One in the hand for your trick. What happened? And we have another flag running. We'll tell it after if Twilight lives and he's punched in the face. Gonna be able to put shots in on and Dave is gonna be an epic assault on this Victoria's Secret base and the revival picking up a huge headshot. With so believe the hype so far has shown that the roster changes has not affected their game at all. Looking stronger than ever. I think this is the best we've seen Destin play this entire season and reliable as you mentioned before. I've nicknamed him the new Enable. He is the upcoming player from Ohio that I definitely think you're going to want to keep your eyes on. But Chris, earlier today, it was all formal from the matches we saw. And you saw in that team intro video, formal plus 153 at Anaheim. The kid was absolutely destroying. And even on the main stage earlier, we saw some of the glimpses of Hisho Nanheim. The kid's absolutely sick. You got the 2009 national champion there in Maniac. Destin, we just talked about him. The new addition of Reliable to the squad. Formal, the main slayer for this lineup. But they also have a fifth man. And right now, Gandhi is on the floor with him. What's up? Barrett's giving the guys some water. But I'm here with Mazik. Mazik, you weren't here last tournament. What happened? We missed you. Well, basically, I decided to take a little bit of a break, finish up some things with school, and I uh, was able to make the trip out here to Raleigh, North Carolina, to rejoin my, my favorite team that I've coached, Believe the Hype. Your favorite team. Now, you're back with Maniac, but a couple new faces here, minus Destin. How do you like coaching these two guys, formal and, I for and rely on me? That's the ticket, brain dead. It's unreal. Just here watching them in warm-up, I just see players doing stuff that you don't even see in-game. And it's just incredible. I'm excited. It's just a very great new and youthful enthusiasm that they're bringing to the sport. Awesome to hear. Now, they are going against status quo. All right? They're clearly the underdogs in this. What are you going to do to help them push it to the next level and take the series? Honestly, with the energy this team has, I feel that the only thing that can possibly hurt them is themselves. They have to stay calm. They can stay in their zones. And if they keep their teamwork on point, I think status quo is the true underdog here. Well, VVV is definitely in the crowd. Make some noise, guys. What do you got to say to them, man? They're pumped. Don't stop believing. Whole journey reference. Back to you guys. I hate that song. All right, guys, here we go. We got the winner's semifinals. Status quo taking on Believe the Hype. We're playing the same five game types you just saw between Instinct in that last matchup. And Chris, are you ready to get this one started? Absolutely. I cannot wait for this match. Raw North Carolina, are you ready for game number one? Yeah! Here we go as we get it started right now with Capture the Flag on Countdown. We have die-hard fans on both sides of the stage tonight. I think all of VVV is in full force. We got the COD VVV guys. We got the Gears VVV guys who came for the showcase last night. Everyone supporting this Believe the Hype Squad playing Halo Reach here in Raleigh. But we also have such a rabid fan base there for status quo. You can hear it, the guys chanting, let's go, Quo. It's kind of now their call to arms. And they've been playing so well. Ooh, a little bit of a 
problem there. I saw him jumping off with the rockets, although he picked the kill up. But on the positive side, you got to think, now Believe the Hype can't get them. Yeah, it's all just got pushed off the map there by some lunge action, but Believe the Hype, they're holding on to their power weapons. Maniac is controlling that sniper, and right away we got the first cap of the game coming from our blue lineup. After Assault went skydiving, Formal really just took over. Maniac controlled the top, and after a double kill from Formal, I think we might see a second flag cap already. Our team wearing blue tonight is starting off so hot. They just took advantage of status quo off the beginning. Status quo going three down and then assault falling off going all four down. Formal actually didn't see a single player but took advantage of the situation and just ran the flag right off the beginning, giving Believe the Hype an early lead. Something to point out here, Chris. In our first match, we saw one versus four. Right now, we are seeing two versus three. The first time we've seen the top teams in each pool actually advance. Not only that, the top teams in each pool going four and oh in their pools and dominating everyone else. I think we're starting to see the top teams in Halo Reach emerge. This is definitely tier one for this tournament. Right now, you got Assault trying to toss a flag out. Really just a distraction flag. He's not gonna try and run that until his team gets a number of kills. But you have all four members up right now here for this. Believe the Hype Squad, Reliable has that custom power up. He will be able to take a little bit of extra damage here. And it looks like that will be weared off. It looks like we have Maniac is going to be running in. The Reliable's Blade. arms aren't Wrong. white. That's just a little debris out of his shoulder. I was way off. That's, uh, so confused. <laughs> but a Reliable Blade. making the Wrong. smart play. He goes Blade. back and grabs the health pack. And then decides to hold down. They believe the hype now taking a 2-0 lead. Wrong. And their teamwork right now looking almost like instinct from the previous series. The control they have Blade. of the middle Blade. of the map, really impressive. But now you see status quo coming Wrong. right back and a counter capping. <laughs> All right, so Assault puts it in. It is 2-1 as we have believe the hype off to a great start. But status Blade. quo comes right back and now you have Assault trying Blade. to get out of the base here. We got lots of pressure from this BTH squad. You got Blade. Formal sitting back there on the big door. You got Blade. the sniper being Wrong. fought for between Reliable and I believe that was Flame, Enable, excuse me. And um, Chris, talk to me about the big Blade. picture here. What's the strategy you're seeing at the start of this game from Blade. status quo? Wrong. Both of these teams really want to control the middle of the map. We've talked about it a little bit before in the recent broadcast. But in CTF, the top level really isn't going to be a spot you're going to hold down and control. The top level, you're going to be using it as a way to drop in on the people during the second level because it's so fast to get your flag that way. You can see it right there, believe that, putting in their third flag cap. They did it by controlling level two. And we do have Formal picking up the rockets outside. He's going to be taking down Destin, trying to pick up those rockets now. And you see the rockets being in the lift given to Destin basically by the gods in Halo Reach. And now Destin with that rocket has two more players in front of him, shoots them both, picks up a double kill that is four down now. The last player in the game is Formal as three were down for Believe the Hype and Formal doesn't know what to do. He's like, I'm in the vent, but I don't see anybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He knew everyone was down in the game, but he wasn't sure what to do. But I think he's going to make the right choice. He's going to stay up top, allow his teammates to spawn, and now going to be making a push onto this flag. And you're going to see him once again run this towards the second level as Believe the Hype starts to swarm and pick up some kills. Now, earlier when we saw Believe the Hype facing off against Blade. Evil Chris. Formal rarely went for the flag. Blade. And we kind of had a, a conversation about that. We were like, are Blade. they not Take. that good at objective or are they just trying to rack up Blade. kills? I think it's Blade. obvious here after seeing four flags scored in just Blade. four minutes Take. that those guys Blade. are just trying to rack up the kills. Yeah. You see they are purely focused on the objective here in our winner semis as they stomp out status quo five to one in game one, just four minutes off the clock in that one. An incredible performance by Believe the Hype. That is definitely not the result we were expecting. We were probably expecting to see a game go much longer than that. But BTH showing that they are very warmed up now and are coming out on fire. And there you see Konkins writing down the stats for this one. Let's bring them up for you. It's such a fast game, just a four-minute game type there. We had Maniac and Destin dropping eight kills apiece. Destin putting up positive two. On the other side, only Ace was able to go positive one, but really it was just amazing execution of their setups from Believe the Hype, and they just took advantage of every situation, capitalizing on those flag captures. There's only four extra kills you see from Believe the Hype, and they still managed to get four more captures than status quo. I think you, from that, you can deduce that they definitely had the better strategies going in. Status quo maybe fighting a lot of battles that they weren't really important towards the game. And most of those flag caps by Believe the Hype, uncontested, you can see that their run point and their communication is perfect so far. Well, Formal continues to go positive, just positive one in that one, and he's going to look to be a lot bigger in game number two for Believe the Hype. Guys, we're going to commercial break. When we come back, we have game number two of the best of five series.